How's everyone doing today? Good. How are you, sir? Good. Uh, we've heard a lot about Donovan Westmoreland moving to edge. Kind of where is his progress right now? Are there any other guys you're kind of trying out at that spot through the spring? Yeah, Donovan Westmoreland um, is is playing edge, moving to edge. He's a really versatile guy. Uh, he played the position in high school, uh, so so he, he kind of understands the position. But he, he's definitely buying into the technique, and I'm, I'm, I'm excited about where Donovan is. What about any other guys, Sterling, that stood out? Tyreek, obviously. Who, who else? What have you seen so far? Oh, really, all the, guy, all the guys, to be honest with you. Uh, Tyreek is doing a good job. You know, obviously, he got some experience last year that I think is going to help him this year. Uh, Brian Thomas played as a true freshman, um, you know, in limited snaps. But, but now you can see the transition. He's a lot more confident. He's playing fast. So I'm really excited about the progress that he's made. Um, you know, going into Terrell Dawkins as well. Uh, I know he, he, had a, he had a press conference with you guys a couple weeks ago, and he kind of talked about the injuries and stuff like that. But, you know, he's continuing to work through that and building up his armor. And Desmond uh, Yumazulu just got here. I'm, I'm very pleased where he is. Uh, he, he's doing a really good job. Um, all those guys, really, like and we, we, we spoke on Donovan Westmoreland. Um, so I'm, I'm really pleased where those guys are, man. They're working really hard. Sticking with uh, Yumi Ozulu in particular, what what is it about him in terms of just being able to pick things up as a freshman? And you know, obviously he's got the size, he's got the the reach. Yeah. But what are some of the other things that he's been able to bring to the table? I think uh, you know when we recruit guys, we want guys who love football, and I think he definitely loves football. And uh, he he's willing to do the little things to be successful. Um, so, like I said, I'm, I'm very excited where he is. You know, he's still supposed to be in high school, but he's out there competing. He's always around the ball. Uh, in our room, the first thing we talk about day one is leading the SEC in effort. And, you know, we, we grade the lows really hard, but he has minimum lows. And he's, you know, he constantly shows up uh, around the football, which is a good thing. And sticking with him, I mean, I know you coach all your guys the same, but is, is it kind of cool to have, have one of your first guys that you recruited and signed here, being able to coach him and sort of start? Start from the ground level and, and working up with them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's it's awesome. Like like you said, just going through that recruiting process with them, um, and, and all these guys. Like you said, I coach all the guys the same. But it is, you know, a guy coming from high school. He's still supposed to be in high school, graduated early. To getting him here and j just seeing how he pro continues to progress. I think he might have put on 20 pounds since he got here. So kudos to the guys in the weight room doing a really good job with him. And and like I said, he's he's picking up the playbook really well and. All those guys are pushing him. I mean, he, he sits right next to Jordan Strong in the meeting room. So he, he's constantly he's asking them questions. So uh, Jordan Strong's doing a really good job with those guys. Uh, so it's, it's, it's been going really well. Uh, Clayton White was in here a couple weeks ago saying he wouldn't mind having Nick Harbour in some end of half, end of game, pass rush situations. Is that conversation been had at all by you with Beamer or anyone with the staff? No, no. I mean, obviously we love Nick Harbour. He's, he's, a, he's a different, different breed when it comes to athleticism, and he, he's going to play offense. We want to see him help us put some points on the board, and I think that helps defense as well. Sterling, what does it mean to have Strawn back uh, and uh, back for another year, and what do you expect from him? It's awesome. Anytime you can get a guy with, uh, with a lot of playing experience, um, you know, a guy like Strawn, he's high energy. Before he got injured last year, I was really excited about him. I would say he's one of our, our, our leaders on defense. Um, and he just brings a boost and, and, and some things that we, you know, that, that we need on defense. So I'm, I'm extremely excited about him and uh, ready to get the thing going with him you know, whenever he gets back. Sir, we had an opportunity to talk with Jarrell a couple weeks ago, and one thing he mentioned was being able to have a relationship with you and how that helped him, especially through this period. You understand, you know, going through the process of being a player, injuries happen, that mental hurdle, especially lower body injuries. How have you seen him in terms of just coming back here and, and trying to be the best that he can to be himself while also trying to just, you know, push that to the side the best he can? Absolutely. You know, as a coach, man, this thing is all about relationships. You know, we, this, this is a business, but at the end of the day, it's all about relationships, genuine relationships. And, you know, me and Terrell, we talk all the time. You know, I was able to go back to when I was in college at NC State going to my true senior year. I ended up hurting my knee. So, you know, I would tell him about my experience there. Um, you know, I had the red shirt. That's kind of how, you know, how I got into coaching, uh, sitting that year out and then coming back and playing the next year. But I, that year I developed a passion for coaching. But, you know, I just told him my story and just kind of how you're able to persevere through that. And uh, like I said, man, it's all about relationships and continue to just push these guys, find, find the buttons to push. And, and ultimately you can do that when you have a good relationship with them. Thank you, Sterling. All right. Thank you, guys.